What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about how just because you can afford something doesn't mean you can afford something. <laughs> It'll make sense in a moment. We're gonna get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. We've got the limited edition Halloween gear only available this month, get one while you can. Try out some G Fuel Energy Formula, $5 off your first order by clicking the link in the description. And of course, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Refer a friend for 15 free fractional shares. Refer three friends for a chance to win all the way up to 20 free shares of Apple. And if you make your first crypto trade on the platform, they're gonna give you $5 worth of a crypto of your choice. Everything will be linked in the description. All right, so today I wanted to talk about something that I don't believe I've ever really talked about on this channel before. And I'm not trying to discourage anyone from getting that new car that they wanna get. If that's what you wanna do, be my guest. I'm not trying to discourage someone from going on vacation. I'm not trying to discourage anybody from doing anything. All I want to do is explain that just because you can afford something doesn't mean you can actually afford it. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about someone I know's financial struggles, but long story short, a sports car was financed because it was able to be afforded and then due to a change in employment status, the sports car was no longer able to be afforded and it caused some problems. That's all I'm going to say about that, but I'm pretty sure we all have been in a situation or we know somebody that has been in a situation where they see a price tag and they're able to afford it, but you got to ask yourself. Like, yeah, I can afford it, but, but can I afford it? Is this really what I should be doing with my currency? Is this really the best money move that I could be making right now? Because the way I see it, there are only three things that I do with my currency at this point. I invest it, hoping to create more currency. I convert it into something that I believe stands a far better chance of holding its value than the cash alone would. And three, I spend it on something that will save me money in the long run. See, I'm not really about purchasing depreciating assets. I've never been a car guy. It's just not my thing. I'm also not too big into traveling. I know a lot of people get a ton of value out of the experience of traveling, but it's just not my thing. It's not for me. I don't like to go in these different directions. And let's just say the price tag is, I don't know, something simple. Let's call it $100. In fact, I got a $100 bill sitting right over here. Use that as a prop. So when it comes to something that might cost, I don't know, let's call it $100. It has a $100 price tag attached to it. Sure, I can afford it. Of course I can afford it. I got $100 right here. I can absolutely afford it. I don't have to borrow $100 from anybody. I got one right here in my hand. Physical $100 bill. That's the cost. But what about the opportunity cost? This same $100 bill, right now, from a stacking perspective, this $100 bill can get me I don't know, four or five troy ounces of silver. This $100 bill can get me, man, I don't even know when it comes to gold. Two grams of gold, maybe? Somewhere around there? From an investing perspective, this $100 can generate me $3.50 every single year for the rest of my life, passively. And then what happens if I have another $100 from my next paycheck, next week? Well, I could do the same thing. I can go and get another 
four, maybe five troy ounces of silver. Or another one to two grams of gold or, or whatever. Or I could invest it and get my annual passive income up another $3.50 per year. Now I'm no longer making $3.50 a year passively. Now I'm making about $7 a year passively. Plus, I can take that passive income and reinvest it back in to speed up the process even more. Get that snowball rolling. Even bigger and even faster. All because I decided to say, eh, no thanks. I don't want to pay $100 for that. Sure, I can afford it, but can I really afford it? Can I afford to pass up on the opportunities that this $100 bill can create for me? Maybe you can. I can't. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to the price tag, it's not always about whether or not you can afford it right then and there, because maybe you can. Maybe you absolutely can. Maybe you can afford that new car. Maybe you can afford to go on that vacation. Maybe you can afford to do this. Maybe you can afford to do that. But I don't look at the price tag and make a decision right then and there. Number one, I have to ask myself, does the value exceed the cost? Because if so, please take my cash. But if the cost exceeds the value, Get as far away from me as you can. <laughs> That's the question that I have to ask myself. Does the value exceed the cost? And then from there, I have to ask myself, well, what about the opportunity cost? Can I do something better with the currency? Is there a better money move I can make right now? Can I put this cash into something that will create more cash, create some cash flow? Or save and store and preserve value better than the cash can? Or can I make a purchase that will save me cash in the long run? These are the questions that you have to ask yourself, at least in my opinion. What do I know? I'm just some guy on YouTube, not a financial advisor. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. Remember, we got the limited edition Halloween gear only available this month. Get one while you can, orange, gray, and purple. Try out some G Fuel energy formula, sugar-free, low-calorie, packed with a whole bunch of vitamins, 50 different flavors to choose from. This one just so happens to be peach rings. I recommend it. It's delicious. It tastes just like the candy. And of course, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Refer a friend for 15 free fractional shares. Refer three friends for a chance to win all the way up to 20 free shares of Apple. You're guaranteed at least one. You just got to spin the wheel. Whatever you land on is what you get. And of course, if you make your first crypto trade, on Weeble, by the end of the month, they're going to give you $5 worth of a crypto of your choice between Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, Sheeb, and Cardano. Everything will be linked in the description. Once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace! Peace.